Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, mister. Good evening. Good evening, miss. How's everything today, people? I'm, I'm tired, teacher. Tired? Really? Yes. But yes. Didn't, didn't you finish in the, in the school with the students? A student? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yo no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo acabo de llegar de trabajar. Really? So late? Sí. But it's almost es... eight. Jesus, sí. basically eight. What, es... what, what time do you finish, Carla? Es que eh, ayer y ahora tuvimos clausuras. Entonces ayer uh... fue la clausura de primaria y ahora la de secundaria. La otra semana igual me va a tocar. No, so then that's why. Yes. Hasta sábado creo que voy a ir. Really? Yes. Jesus Christ. And that takes a long time, right? Yes, and, yes. And after, after those things, you're going to be uh, in uh, uh, paperwork, right? I mean, administrative work. Just to finish November. Yes. Yes. Todo that is, noviembre. Uh -huh, that is going to, to be until... Uh, the 30, I think it is, of November, right? 30. Yeah, because this month doesn't have 30, 31st, right? Let me check. Sí. Let me, let me, Solo let me check, check. Diciembre, I'm, vamos a descansar nada más. I am in, exactly. I mean, it's going to be cool for us. Usted termina el 30, ahí. Sí, 30 de noviembre. Justamente el 30 de noviembre también nosotros terminamos. Si todo sale bien, terminamos de módulo. Ay, qué bueno. <risa> hey, <come on. risa> no, es que muy cansado, teacher, es de velarse. Si termina la clase a las 10, me duermo a las 11 y a las 4 y media ya estoy levantada. Jesus Christ, really? Yeah, and, and the place where you work is, is very far from you. Where you live? No, pero hay mucho tráfico. Ah, really? Sí, está como están construyendo paso de desnivel aquí en Santa Ana. Entonces, eh, para llegar a la, mi hora de entrada es 6:45, tengo que salir un cuarto para las 6 porque hay mucho tráfico, no porque lejos no está. Ajá, ajá. Okay. I thought it was it was a little bit uh, far from from where you live. No, no, but that's, that's, yeah, kind of okay. And even in days like this, I mean, you have to be very early. Perdón. Inclusive en días como estos, así donde no hay estudiantes, tiene que estar súper temprano. Mm, a las 7 nos permiten entrar. <laughs> 15 minutos más, ¿no? <laughs> y así como que, wow, le van a dar una... Me pueden entrar a las ocho, pensé, o algo por el estilo, you know? No, y salimos a la una cuarenta y cinco normalmente. Uh, yeah. Y cuando, ahí cuando están los niños, salimos a la una y media, también quince minutos. <laughs> Qué diferencia. Sí. <laughs> ah, bien, I'm sorry. Así están mis jefes. Sorry. Perdón, jefecitos, si están viendo esto, pero son explotadores. <laughs> yes, yes, they are. I know how you feel, then. Sé lo que se siente eso, believe me. <laughs> okay. All right, people. So let's start over with the class. Uh, but before doing that, I'm going to pass the attendance list, okay? Uh, Gabriel Esaú. Present. Ah, okay, you're there. Very good. I mean, I didn't remember that today was the, is, is the last day of the week. Jesus. And I was... I was thinking today was uh, Wednesday or Tuesday. I'm lost, man. I'm really lost. Guadalupe Noemi. Present. Ah, okay, nice. It is Cecilia. 
No, okay, she's not here. Jorge Ismael. Present teacher. Ah, okay, perfect. Jose Moises. Right, I think Moises said that he was sick or something like that. Judith Maribel. Present. Ah, okay, nice. Carla Ivania. Carla, are you there? Mm, okay, I guess she's not there right now. Carla Lorena. Present. Ah, okay, good. Catherine. Present teacher. Ah, you're there. All right. Catherine Guadalupe. Uh, right, she's not there. Let me see. Kevin Ramiro. Kevin, Kevin. Okay, he's not there. Maria Elena Linares Diaz. Present. Ah, okay, you're there. Good. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. All right, nice. Mario Ernesto. Present. Okay, good. Monica Maricela. Mm, okay, just not getting connected yet. Oscar Armando. All right, no, Oscar. Patricia Guadalupe. All right, no there. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. All right. <coughs> Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. I am in you there. Santos Cristina. I am in Cristina said that he's going to be as a listener. And the last one, Jocelyn Stephanie. Ah, uh, you are there, Jocelyn. Let me see. I guess you're working, right? Let me see. Okay, perfect. People, the ones that are going to participate in the class, please try to be with the camera on, please. I want to look at you. I want to share with you uh, the topic with the class and everything. I don't want to be talking to the wall, right? Just, 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 I don't know, I man. It's, it's like, I don't want to be like the whole class, right? Just talking to myself and that's it. All right, people. So let's just start over. So welcome to this video conference number uh, seven, basically. All right. Tonight, we are going to have a very interesting topic, all right? Uh, the structures that we are going to be discussing are uh, structures that you know already, all right? So it is going to be kind of easy for you, all right? Uh, identify them and put them into practice. All right, but before starting with that, we are going to have a short feedback about the things that we were discussing last class, right? It's very important to bring up the topic that we were discussing last class. Did you guys remember what were we discussing last class? Just to open up, you know, like the class with that. El uso del this, el des, dos, dap. Ma, okay, very good. Thank you, Roberto. Mario, when do when do I use the word that or the demonstrative pronoun that? Para hablar de objetos que están cerca de mí. Cosas. So I can say, uh, let me see, I got something. Ah, perdón, perdón. That's me dijo. Yeah, that. 
<risa> Perdón. Ah, bueno, para, para hablar de cosas que no están cerca de mí, que puedo señalar, decir aquella cosa. Esto. Ah, ah, ok, very good. There you go. Thank you, Mario. Thank you, thank you. Let me see somebody else. -da 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 -da. Marilyn, when do we use those? Those. Yeah. Marilyn. Yeah, aquí estoy. Ajá. Cuando, su, no, no sé, no estoy segura, pero creo que es cuando parece que los objetos están cerca, algo así. No recuerdo bien, la verdad. O es cuando están lejos. Ay, no sé. No lo sé, dígame usted. <ríe> I don't know. I don't remember. You don't remember? No. You see, you were sleeping in the class. Okay. Let's leave it like that, Marilyn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me no, see. Estoy super atrasada con las tareas de mi otra clase. Pero sí estaba escuchando. No es que he estado durmiendo. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> you, you you were not paying that, that, that much attention, but you were like kind of kind of a, kind no. of attentive. No, no, <laughs> honestly, casi no. <laughs> ah, Sinceramente no, pero tengo que terminar las otras también. Lo siento. Okay, okay. There you go. Let me see. Guadalupe is going to help you up. Guadalupe, when do we use those? Are you talking to us? Because you got the microphone off. Ah, cuando hablamos de un objeto en plural que está lejos de nosotros. Ah, cuando hablamos de objetos en plural que están lejos de nosotros. All right. Very good. Thank you, Guadalupe. And what about this in singular, Judith? ¿Cómo se escribe? Can you spell them? This, T, H, E, E, S. <laughs> yes. Are you sure you didn't? ¿Cómo se no el I? I. I. Okay. I, S. Okay. I, S. All right. Thank you, Judith. All right. So remember, yesterday we were talking about the most common uh, demonstrative pronouns, okay? These four words are called, remember? Demonstrative pronouns, okay? In which we got singular form and we got a plural form, all right? We've got two categories, okay, of those ones. In singular forms, we got this, all right, and we got that. In plural forms, on the other hand over here, we got these, and we got those, all right? You got those four. Remember, in here, the first this, it's basically used with singular nouns, okay? With singular nouns that are close from us and we can touch them. For example, I can say, ah, uh, this is my new cell phone. Jesus. This is my new cell phone. And I can say, uh, using that, remember, that is with singular form, but about nouns that are far from us. For example, I can say, I like that back 
look around. Uh, let's suppose I say, hey, Mario, I like that background. So you see, in that case, because it's not close from me, I can use that. All right. And what am I talking about? I am talking about Mario's background. All right. Estamos hablando del fondo de, de la pantalla de Mario. Okay, what about these in plural form? As we said, we use these to talk about nouns that are plural and they are close from us, okay? For example, I want these books for my class. You see, in that case, I use this because in here I got the noun in plural, all right? Books. Now, those on the other hand, remember, those is mostly used for nouns in plural that are far from you, okay? Or far from us. For example, I can say, we need to do those exercises in the manual. All right, you see? We need to do those exercises in the manual. So in that case, I am using those because in here I got the word exercises in plural. Right, so that's why we got those. Good. I know this topic it was very, very, very easy for you guys uh, last class, so we are not going to stop that much about this because we previously, all right, uh, did several activities before finishing the class from last night. Good. So in that case, uh, this is going to be like, you know, like part of the feedback that I can provide to you guys about the uses of demonstrative pronouns. Now, I'm gonna stop sharing this and let's start with the presentation that we got for tonight. Give me one second. This is going to be a little bit short. All right, so we got it like this. Let's remember this is the video conference number seven and tonight's topic is going to be how to use can and could. Have you ever uh, talked about these two topics before? ¿Se recuerdan que hemos hablado de estos dos phrasal verbs en el pasado o en, en módulos anteriores más que todo? Algunos lo vieron conmigo, otros pues lo vieron con otro uh, facilitador. All right, but in, in this case, we're gonna, all right, take a look at the question forms and positive sentences and statements using both verbs all right the first thing that we're going to be you know like you started is, is is this all right as the first pointer from the whole class we got the review from the previous topic something that we just finished then i bring up a discussion question to you guys just to open up the conversation and then we're going to start with the uses of can and could, right? The way we are going to be, you know, like doing over here. So let's move. Then uh, we're gonna go into the manual because in there we have a conversation, right? Using these structures. And we are going to end up with a series of exercises in 
script manual. So this is like part of the things that we have to cover tonight in this class. So let's start over. All right, let's start with this question to be discussed because I do really want you to, you know, like extend your speaking abilities. Roberto, help me reading the question, please. What are the most com common questions that customer ask you about the product to workplace sell? Nah, okay. Very good. Who works in sales in here? Hay alguien acá que trabaja en ventas? O hay alguien acá que esté familiarizado como cuando ustedes van a comprar algo, ¿qué es lo que generalmente preguntan sobre ese producto? Let's, let's take it that way. El precio. <laughs> The price. Okay, good. Uh -huh. that's, that's something really, really, really important. Okay, the price. Besides the price, what else do you generally ask? Aparte del precio que más solemos preguntar. La condición, cómo está el producto. If it is new, if it is, okay. If it is, uh -huh, exactly, or if El it is or the la Ah, uh, the brand. Okay, very good. The brand. That's that's something good. What else, people? What else do you generally ask? Para los que no me han participado y tienen la cámara apagada. What do you generally ask people? The guarantee. What do you say, uh, Judith? Sorry, I didn't listen. The guarantee. Ah, the warranty. Okay, that's something really important. All right. And characteristic of the product. Now, ah, okay, and the characteristic of the product. Yeah, I mean, something like that happened to me today, man. I was like asking a lot of questions. I spent like 20 minutes asking questions about a product I wanted to buy. Ugh. But we want to make sure about the things that you want to buy. I mean, that's cool. That's cool. What else? Jorge? What did you generally ask Jorge? Perdón, teacher. What did you generally ask when you want to buy a product? Um... ¿En cuánto tiempo lo entregan si fuese un producto de envío? Ah, ok, good. That's a good option also. There you go. Perfect, perfect. Thank you, Mr. And one more last participation. Let me see who, Marilyn. Yeah. Tell me. What happened? Tell me. Ah, como que what happened? I'm asking. Uh -huh. <clears throat> ¿Qué era la pregunta? Esa que está en pantalla. What do you generally ask when you go and buy a product? Uh, the sales. Um, they ask. I don't know. Es que yo estoy en el lado contrario, por eso no sé qué hacen para la venta. ¿Cómo así? Yo soy del lado de comprar, no del lado de vender. Um, Por eso era la pregunta, listen. 
¿Qué es lo que generalmente usted pregunta cuando va a comprar algo? Ah, I'm so sorry. Um, so, uh, in my case, for example, in I, um, I do, um, ¿cómo se dice? Um, como un presupuesto. Budget. Primero, ajá, como de los precios para hacer sí. una comparación. Una comparación con, ¿qué? Algún otro proveedor que pues para mí en ese momento pues me genere más utilidad en el negocio. Eso para mí es lo primero. Interesante. Mm, Interesante. Uh -huh. so, yeah. so, you are the kind of person that if you really want to buy something, for example, for you or for your uh -huh. house, uh -huh. you, go to okay. different, you go to different stores uh, to compare prices? Yeah. And the yeah, one because... that has lower prices, you buy there. Exactly. Ah, okay. Good. Yeah, porque, o sea, vaya donde vivo, digamos, hay, ¿qué? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro superes diferentes. No. Digámoslo así, vaya. Digamos, está el super selectos, baratío. Ese está por ah. todos lados, Sí, el nuevo milagro y la defensa familiar. Hay cosas que en unos lugares, eh, pues, no es porque está en promoción, sino que tal vez el costo al que lo han adquirido, tal vez en ese momento, pues, hace que el precio esté un poco más bajo. Uh -huh. Y por eso que en unos lugares compro unas cosas y en otros lugares compro otras. Mm -hmm, ok, that's interesting. Sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You need to move on to different places. Good, good. Good on you, Marilyn. Thank you for your participation, okay? Okay, let's start over with the uses of can. When do we use can, people? En oraciones afirmativas, ¿qué recuerdan de can? ¿En qué situaciones usamos can? En oraciones afirmativas. Do you guys remember? Any idea? Para indicar una habilidad. Okay, to talk about abilities. Good, good. Thank you, Mario. That's like the most common use of can in positive statements. It's mostly to show abilities, all right? All right, check this out. And it says, can is often used to talk about abilities and formal request. Cuando hablamos de formal request, estamos hablando de solicitudes formales o peticiones formales, en las cuales, obviamente, acá, sí, ya es cuando usamos la estructura en una pregunta. We got some examples in here. Check this out. Gabriel, help me read in this one. I can send you my personal information. Okay, good. It says I can send you my personal information. What is this tip? The, this, this example people about? Ah, it's just about abilities all right because i got the power to do that action guadalupe you can write the letter okay you can write right the letter all right that's something on a, uh, that expresses ability also good good we got another participation Mm -hmm. Mario. Ah, uh, sorry, Mario, I didn't listen. 
no le, no, no, eh, perdón, estaba haciendo algo por acá, no le, no le. Ah, no, no. read the example number three. Ah, okay. She can't pay for the TV at the moment. Ah, okay. She can't pay for the TV at the moment. What does it mean, people? It means that this person doesn't have the ability to do that action in the moment. All right. In the moment. So in that case, this is the way how we can do this type of, okay, expressions all right, using can in positive and also in negative statements. Recuerden, en positivo, demostramos una habilidad. Right. En negativo, pues algo que no tenemos, alguna habilidad que pues no poseemos. Good. Before moving on, are we okay with this? Vamos bien hasta acá. Any question? No questions? All right. Cool. Let's move. Ah, take a look at this. Guadalupe, well, help me reading. Can you tell me the company rules? Uh, okay, thank you, thank you. Let's take a look at the answer. Yes, I can. It says, listen, acá ya no estamos demostrando una habilidad. Más bien estamos pidiendo o estamos solicitando algo, right? De manera, pues, un tanto formal, por así decirlo, right? Porque quien no es del todo formal. So you got two ways of answer to this question. You can say, yes, I can. Or simply, no, I can't. Okay? So both ways can be acceptable. All right, check this out. Um, mm, mm, let me see. Maria Elena, help me a reading, please. Maria Elena. All right, I guess she's not there. Mm -hmm. Who else, who else, who else? Oscar? Could you, Oscar, help me reading the question? Hmm. Okay, no neither him. Jesus Christ, where is everybody? Judith, help me reading. Can she join in join the marketing team? Okay, good. Can she join the marketing team? It says ah same thing as the question before. You can say yes, she can. If it is negative. No, she can't. All right. Remember, these ones are just no questions. All right. Using the verb can. That's all we're doing in that case. Roberto. Who can she call to, what do you say, solve it, solve it. Ah, to solve. Solve, to solve the problem. Ah, okay, thank you. Who can she call to solve the problem, it says. Check out the answer. Let me see. Carla. 
Yes, teacher. All right. Can you please read the answer for me? Okay. And she can call her boss to solve the problem. Okay, very good. It says she can call her boss to solve the problem. Very good. So in that case, this one is not a yes, no question. This is basically an information question, okay? That's what it is. All right, people. So take it in consideration the uses of can in questions. Can you please write down one yes, no question in your notebooks and then read it for me, please? Podrían darme un ejemplo de, de una pregunta usando can como una yes, no question? Something short, expressing, all right, a formal request. Would you guys give me one example, please? Let me know when you finish. Just let me know when you finish. All right, Mario, you finished? Yes. Okay. Can I speak Spanish here? <laughs> if you want me to give you an answer, no, you can't. <laughs> Thank you. Good question, Mario. Good. Somebody else? Alguien más? Yeah, teacher. Can you show me the office? No, okay. Yeah. The office is backwards, it says. Good. It says, yes, I can. All right. Thank you, Carla. Somebody else? Your teacher. Okay, let's go, Gabriel. Can you come with me to the doctor tomorrow? No, okay, cool. And I can say, yes, I can. Cool. Thank you, Gabriel. Somebody else? Can you drink frappuccinos in the office? Nah, no, I can't. Okay. <laughs> it's not valid in the office, it says. <laughs> so sad, man, so sad. Good, good. Uh, somebody else? Alguien más? Uh, T-shirt. Ya la tengo. Okay. Can you tell me the company address? No, okay. Yes, I can. It says... Very good, Judith. Jorge, do you have one? Can you give me your phone? Can you give me? Your phone? Ah, okay, yes, I can. I can give you my, my, my phone. Ah. Eh, teacher, eh, una pregunta. Eh, en la... En la... En la versión uh -huh. que dice que she joy, ¿qué significa esa palabra? Join. La, la, uh, join the marketing team. Este, ¿Qué dice ahí en español? Ah, right. ¿Se puede unir al, al equipo de marketing? 
Unir. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Yeah, join is unir. Okay. Good. Somebody else, people? Alguien más? Let me see who can do it. Marilyn, give me an example. Usando el que, nada más. Yes. Okay. Um, can I go to the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> Man, that one is 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 used since since you were in seventh grade. <laughs> La usaban de que estábamos ya por séptima grada. That's the first thing. Can I use your computer today? No, you can't. Okay. <laughs> okay, Marie. Thank, thank you for your examples. Man. They okay. were awesome. Okay, good. Somebody else, alguien más? Oh, let me see how many people are getting connected. This one. Okay, I guess that's the quantity of people I got in here right now. Jesus Christ. All right. Let's continue. Okay, that's with the uses of can, okay? In questions and in positive statements. Now, let's start over with the uses of could. Este no se pronuncia como could. La L, -E. ¿cómo les diría? Pronunciada. Acá la L suele ser un tanto muda y solo decimos could, could, right? Could, that's the way how we pronounce this word, okay? And it says a little bit like this. Carla, help me already. Mm, ¿Ya dicho? Yes. Okay. It is used to express abilities in the past and possibilities uh, also for polite request, cool is more formal than can. Ah, okay, thank you. Listen, could, básicamente, es la forma pasada del verbo can. Si en can, yo digo, yo puedo, I can, acá es, yo pude, o también yo podría, all right? Those are the translation that we got about this type of a structure. And something that you have to remember is that could is by far more, more formal than can. All right? That's something that we have to, you know, like take into account. I have a question for these moral verbs. Yes. Okay. Go on. Este, cuando yo estaba recibiendo clases antes, no entendí la diferencia o... Sí, más que todo como la diferencia es porque eso es como podría o, o es como que algo que usted hizo en el pasado, ¿verdad? Correcto. Se podría tomar de esa manera, vaya. Uh -huh. Entonces, yo quería entender cuál era la diferencia entre usar cold y usar can't. O sea, It depends. ¿por qué, no uh -huh. se podía Ajá, ¿Por qué no se podía usar, digamos, para ciertas cosas? En vez de usar cool, usar can't. Entonces, eso nunca lo terminé de entender. Ok. Para comenzar, como les mencionaba, as I was mentioning, can is the base form. Could is the simple yeah. past form of the verb can. So in this case, could yeah. got two main functions. One function is to talk about possibilities, and the other function is to talk about possibilities. But give me one second. Mario, do you want mm -hmm. to say something? Uh, sí. 
tenía una, una, una consulta. Eh, el code es en relación a la pregunta que yo le que, que, que hacía con el uh -huh. eh, En este caso, condicionaría a algo que no puedo hacer, por decirle, I code speak Spanish here. I could speak Spanish here. Uh -huh. Ah, you mean the question? Could I speak Spanish here? Ah, but in that case, exactly. You are in that case talking about the similarities with the uses of can, but in this case, when you ask with could, you're being more formal. That's the only difference, Mario. Que cuando usamos could y no can, ya su pregunta es más formal, en un tono más formal. All right. Uh -huh. Básicamente viene a lo mismo. All right. Solo que acá ya es más que en un tono de qué? De posibilidad. All right. O en este caso, solicitudes ya bien formales. Esa es la diferencia, parte de la diferencia entre can y could. All right. Could. Okay. Viene siendo lo mismo que can, solo que convertido en posibilidad. Mostly in possibilities. Entonces, si yo digo, ah, como el ejemplo que usted me dio, Marilyn, can I go to the bathroom? That's something mm -hmm. like, like, like super basic, right? Ah, like, ¿puedo ir al baño? And in a somehow is neutral, no informal, no formal. But if you mm -hmm. say, could I go to the bathroom? That is something very formal. Ahora sí, ya estoy hablando de al, ya estoy haciendo una solicitud bien formal, Marilyn. Esa es la diferencia. Usando could. Exactly. Using could. Ya pasamos de Ajá, puedo pero, pero a también, podría. Podría. Vaya, y Ay. pero también ahí entra en, en, otra, en otro Ajá, contexto, vaya, porque también también es, eh, se, se ocupa, puede ocupar el otro que es para permisión, que es el may. Y también se podría usar might. Ajá. May, might, y también podríamos utilizar would. Uh -huh. Exactly. Pero en este caso, vaya, si ya usamos would o usamos may, ya es inclusive más formal que usar could. Okay. O sea que can básicamente queda en un escalón, en el, el escalón más bajo en cuanto okay. a formalidad. Luego existe uh -huh. could, luego will, luego viene en este caso may y al final sería might. Que might es más que todo como para una posibilidad un tanto nula. Uh -huh. Que por uh -huh. cierto, creo que estos los vamos a ver, los vamos a ver en, este, en esta semana. Los modal verbs. Yes, we're going to continue with that. Okay. Creo que vamos a ver may, might, uh -huh. uh -huh. would, and uh, would like to. Yes, estoy casi seguro de que sí los vamos a ver. A partir del lunes en adelante, igual. Los vamos a ir viendo por pares, si no me equivoco. Uh -huh. Ok. Yeah, I mean, this is the way. But remember, can and could are similar in somehow. The only difference is that cool is more formal than can. Okay. That's part of it. Okay. I understand. Thank you for explanation. Right. For the ex explication. Oh, for explanation. <laughs> okay. All right, Marily. Good. Take this out. It says, I could walk until late today. I could work until late today. Ah, podría trabajar hasta tarde ahora. Okay, so in this case, what are we expressing? ¿Qué estamos expresando acá, people? O esta oración. Ah, I could work until late today. Una posibilidad. Exactly, we're talking about a possibility. Okay, even though... The word, all right, in this case, the whole sentence is in affirmative. Aquí, a pesar de que la oración es afirmativa, estamos hablando de una possibility, as Marilyn says. 
Right. ¿Qué sucediera si yo tengo can en vez de could? Y yo dijera, I can work until late today. Y ahí estoy hablando de una habilidad. All right. In that case, I will be speaking or talking about an ability. All right, you got another example over here. Ivania, mm -mm -mm -mm. are you there? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay, cool. Can you please read the example? Okay, uh, number one. Ah, uh, the last one. Ah, uh, uh, the the last one, she could. Ah, uh, no, that one, that one. Ah, uh, you could make more money. Ah, uh, okay, good. It says, you could make more money. Listen, you could make more money. In that case, it's like something predictable, all right? Something that is talking about a possibility. All right. I mean, it's like, tú podrías hacer más dinero. So in that case, we're talking about something, all right, you know, like as a possibility, mostly. And we got the last one, Judith. She calls in a letter to her husband. Ah, ok, good. Expressions like this, expresiones como esta, en esta oración se pueden identificar de dos maneras o se pueden comprender de dos maneras. Si usamos could como un método de pasado acá, también lo podemos hacer. ¿En qué sentido? Si yo digo, she could send a letter to her husband, I mean, ella pudo enviar una carta a su esposo. Dicen, ella pudo enviar una carta a su esposo. She could send a letter to her husband. All right. So in this case, it's just to talk about a past action. Okay. A possible past action. But if you use could as a possibility, everything changes. Ah, si ya usamos could para método de posibilidad, pues acá ya todo cambia por completo. ¿Por qué? Porque no es una acción pasada. Sino más bien, listen, si yo digo, ella podría, ok, enviar una carta a su esposo. So in that case, you're talking about a possibility, all right? Not a past action. Good. Let's take a look at this series of example questions. Roberto, tell me a reading. Could you do me a favor? Ah, okay, good. Could you do me a favor? ¿Qué estamos preguntando ahí, Roberto? Que si me puedes hacer un favor. Are you sure, Roberto? No, pero... <laughs> 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 oh <Come> man <laughs> and you said like very very easy like that no but, but that's okay <laughs> Jesus Christ man <laughs> no in this case <laughs> in this case the question will be like podrías hacerme un favor alright so this one is a very polite request Roberto okay y aquí estamos haciendo una solicitud bien Formal, okay? A formal request. Could you do me a favor? The possible answer. Remember, con could, recuerden que no podríamos decir yes, I could. ¿Sí recuerdan de módulos anteriores? Me llega como le hacen con la cabeza así, con las cámaras apagadas. No. Ok. Now, in that case, 
Yes, of course. Este es un método de poder contestar ese tipo de preguntas. Recuerden. Yes, of course. Right away. In a moment. In a minute. Yes. Exactly. All right. Expressions like that. Expressions like that. We can use to answer to this type of questions. Mm -hmm. So, Guadalupe, read the next question. Could you prepare the presentation? Uh, okay, thank you. Could you prepare the presentation? Similar to the other one. In este caso, similar a la otra. Estamos hablando o solicitando de manera formal. Algo que estamos solicitando. I mean, to prepare the presentation. Could you prepare the presentation? ¿Podrías preparar la presentación? All right, so you see. So this is the way how it works. All right, so we got it right away. Okay, so we got an extra question. Give me one second. Jorge, help me a reading, please. Could she dance with me? Okay, could she dance with me? ¿Bailaría ella conmigo? ¿O podría bailar ella conmigo? Ah. The possible answer to this question. Check that out. Judith, tell me already. Yes, she could dance with you. Thank you, thank you. Yes, she could dance with you, it says. Ah, sí, ella podría bailar contigo. So this is the way how it works. ¿Qué estamos preguntando ahí? Estamos solicitando de manera formal algo, right? That's what it is. Good. Any question up to now, people? Hasta acá tenemos alguna pregunta? Something that you probably don't understand that much? Algo que no comprendamos? Nope. Okay, cool. Just copy that information that you got over there and let me know when you finish, okay? Copy eso que tienen en su pantalla entonces y me hacen saber cuando terminen. All right, well, let me think as you're finished. All right, Gabriel, thank you for telling me in the chat. Okay, perfect, people. Now, people, can you ask me one question using could? Ahora bien, podrían darme un ejemplo de una pregunta directamente hacia mí, de ustedes hacia mí, usando could, please, directly to me. A quemar ropa, telling. Could you send okay. the presentation? Repeat again, Judith. Could you send the presentation? Yes, of course. I could send the presentation. Thank you. Ah, for real. If you really want it, let me know in the chat. Please. Si de verdad quieren que se la envíe, 
hágamelo saber ahí en una memoria después de clase. Teacher, envía la presentación. ¿Por qué el teacher acá es bien olvidado? Cuando ya termina clases, se duerme aquí en la mesa y, y sonámbulo se va a la cama, así que se olvida de todo. All right. Good. But good question, Judith. Thank you. Gabriel and then Mario. Okay. Could you, could, could do you me assisting with me English class? Could you assist me on the English class, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, of course. I can assist you in the English class. Thank you, Gabriel. Mario. Could you finish the class at Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. <laughs> exactly right now. Yes. <laughs> no, I couldn't do that, Mario. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you, Mario. Thank you. Good. Yes. I will sleep early today. Repeat again, please, because I don't listen that much. No está bien, entonces. Ah, no, que la vuelvo a repetir porque casi no la escuché. Ah, ok. Ah, que no me pasó los audífonos. <laughs> ya me la voy a poner. I could sleep early today. Vamos a hacer una pequeña modificación, Cristina. El I lo vamos a pasar de segundo y el could lo vamos a poner de primero. Ah. Uh... Ok. El A, full A sería entonces. Full exactly. A. Ok, gracias. Ok, good, good. Thank you, Cristina. Somebody else, yeah. alguien más. Yo, teacher. Ok. Could you, could you tell me how many classes are left? This is the seventh class, right? 13, okay. 13 classes are left. I know. No, man, but, but time is, listen, time is flying. No sé si lo yeah. sienten ustedes, pero el tiempo va súper volando. ¿Qué hace que me acaban de partir la encía así en dos pedacitos así? Y ya me Ay. sané, man, ya me sané, I mean, ya cinco días. Rápido. That was, that was crazy. Pero sentí que pasó más volando la semana que nos dieron de descanso. It was one. <laughs> no, but it's true. Actually, that's true. That's true. Yes. ¿Sabe cuál fue, la, ¿Sabe cuál fue el tiempo que yo sentí inclusive más rápido? Si se acuerdan, antes de iniciar el módulo anterior, módulo 3, dentro del 2 para el 3, nos dieron un lapso como de tres semanas. Amén. Ah, sentí que pasaron súper Volaron. Mal. Yeah, me that was super, super, super fast. Yeah, that was crazy. You will see, man. Así como que ahorita estamos un pie en la, en la, en la clase y el otro ya armando el arbolito de Navidad. Creo que tocará cena navideña virtual con usted. <laughs> No, I think, I think we are not going to have, uh, no sé, estoy casi, 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 casi un, un 60, 70, 80% más o menos seguro de que uh, creo que posiblemente solo este módulo tengamos este, este año. Why? Porque no creo que lo dejemos comenzado. Uno, dos, si iniciamos módulo de la primera semana de diciembre, indicaría que estaríamos terminando como las, la última semana de diciembre más o menos. Entre el 24 y 28, y así como que, nah, impossible. Right? So, basically, we're saved. All December, we're gonna do it for free. Así que, creo que vamos a venir bien descansados el otro año. Así que, ya, yeah, Teacher, ¿cuántos módulos son del nivel básico? From basic, six. Six de cada uno. Seis básicos, seis intermedios, seis avanzados. Ay, no, qué triste. Guay. <laughs> Mucho tiempo. <laughs> Me, but in that case, I mean, 
the more you have, the more classes you have, the more you practice, the more you learn. Pero es lo normal, teacher, porque no se, aprende, no se aprende en menos tiempo. Yes. Es mentira que se aprende en menos tiempo. <laughs> no, ya, yeah, mene. You will be practicing. I mean, that's great. That's cool. You will see. Right now, you're on face. Uh, oh, no, on face. You are on uh, uh, what? Module number four. Les aseguro que en cuatro módulos más, los que estén en ese módulo, ya en módulo ocho, estaríamos hablando de módulo cuatro intermedio. You will be speaking English and avoiding to use Spanish. I'm pretty sure of that. That you will be practicing more and you will be speaking more in English and not Spanish. And you will get everything like right away, very fast. I'm pretty sure of that. Es espero. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that because, because, uh, let me see. I started working in here uh, last year. Yeah, at the beginning of last year. I, I started with one module. I remember module number one. Now that group of oh, the, the people who have... Uh, continue in that group they are on uh, almost advanced casi avanzados ya ellos creo yeah casi avanzados and they speak and they speak very good man english they speak english very good and they were very basic man they didn't know anything that's why i'm saying you can evaluate your, your yourselves people Ustedes inclusive pueden evaluarse cómo están ahorita en módulo 4 y cómo estaban en módulo 1 cuando iniciaron. Y se van a dar cuenta de que hay muchas cosas que han practicado y han aprendido throughout this road. Right? And yeah, man, you will be so, you, you, you have to be so lucky, people, because, I mean, we just got four months in here. And you speak... All right, English, all right? And you understand what I'm saying, and that is a plus for you. Because if you understand what I'm saying right now, it's because, I mean, you got a little bit more than basic, right? So have that, that if you practice a little bit more, it will be even better, a way better. Just keep going, okay? Just keep going. Now, Guadalupe, give me your example, Guadalupe. Could you tell me the name of your favorite book? My favorite food? Book. Ah, book. Difficult, yes. man. Difficult. <laughs> uh, my favorite book. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, it's called Under the Dome. Okay. In Spanish, it's like Bajo el Domo. Yeah. Okay. I, I think, eh, inclusive, han hecho una serie de ese, de ese libro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, 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 una, it's un libro de, de, ¿cómo se llama este doctor? Stephen King. Pretty cool, by the way. Good, good. Thank you for your uh, example. Let me see, who else is, is in here? Jorge? Can you, Jorge, give me one example? Or you take me... My grade. Ah, okay. Right now you got a hundred percent, Jorge. Okay, good. Let me see who else is in here. And I'm gonna end up with uh, Ivania. Give me an, uh, an example question, Ivania.
Ivania, are you there? Hmm. I guess she went to sleep. <laughs> okay, good. So if we don't have any other question to ask, let's continue. Now, I want we to close this and let's go into the manual because we got a series of things to do in there. And I'm gonna show you what we are going to be doing. Give me one second. Okay, I want you to go to page 21 in your manuals. 21. That's one. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. Thank you for your question, Ivania. <laughs> and I don't know, man, I don't know. I think it is. Give me one second. No, I don't know. I know I don't know that. Okay, good. So we got this one over here. Listen, I mean, there was a long time without looking at a question. <laughs> All right. So we got it like this. In here, people, we have a conversation between Linda and Juan. All right. In this case, what are we going to do? We're going to practice it and we are going to be answering some questions besides doing this. Let's practice the conversation. Right after practicing that conversation, I'm going to send you to work in the breakout rooms to practice the conversation as well. And then you are going to answer this question, it, what it says. Read the conversation above and answer the questions, all right? For example, it says, what does one want to buy? What question can you say instead of repeat? Are the customer and the agent polite or impolite? Why? Estas preguntas me las van a responder de la conversación. Pero primero vamos a practicar un poco la conversación, all right, para luego hacer eso. Want to do that a little bit far, I mean, and fast. So, this is a conversation between Linda and Juan, and it says, Linda, thanks so much for calling. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? How can I help you? All right, it says, Juan. Hi, Linda. Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information? Could you give me some information about the pro washer? About the pro washer? It says, Linda. Of course. Of course. It has a capacity of, it has a capacity of 5.2 cube feet. 5.2 cube feet. A turbo processor, a turbo processor and an in intelligent keyboard and an intelligent keyboard it says one i see i see can you give me information about the warranty 
can you give me information about the warranty? It says, Linda, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Could you repeat that, please? It says one. Can you give me information? Can you give me information about the warranty? About the warranty? And it says, Lina, thanks. Thanks. The warranty, is, uh, the warranty of it is for the guarantee of it is for, and then you got three dots over there. Good people, from this conversation, did you have any question with vocabulary, any question with pronunciation or something? ¿Alguna pregunta con respecto sí, al vocabulario? Teacher. Ajá. Sí, eh, donde dice capa, capacity of five, el punto, ¿cómo se pronuncia? 5.2. Ok. Y en el, en el put, who point feed. Seguido de ello. Sí. On here? Yes. Q fit. Q. Q, Q. Q. Q fit. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay. Ese Q es para decir cúbicos. Ok. Q fit. Y este FT es de fit. Ok. Exactly. All right, any other question? No more question? Okay, good. I'm gonna do something, people. Before sending you to practice this conversation, I'm gonna pass the attendance list because I haven't. Give me one sec. Jesus Christ, it's late. Gabriel Esaú. Present. Nice. Guadalupe Noemi. Present. All right. It is Cecilia. I'm in Chisic. Jorge Ismael. Okay. I am in his there. Jose Moises. No, he's not here. Judith Maribel. Present. Okay. Carla Ivania. Mami, she got problems with the internet. Carla Lorena. Present. All right, good. Catherine Guadalupe. I mean, she's a listener. Oh, Kevin Ramiro. He's not here. Maria Elena. Present. All right, perfect. Marilyn Alejandra. Present. All right, Mario Ernesto. Present. Monica Maricela. Jesus Christ, Monica tiene conectando ese audio desde que entramos a la clase. Hace más de una hora. Y nunca se le compuso. Ouch. But anyways. Oscar Armando. Oscar, are you there? Ah, me he got the audio disconnected. Patricia Guadalupe. She is not here. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Ruth Guadalupe. All right, Ruth was there. 
Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. And we got the last one, Jocelyn and Stephanie. All right, that I guess she is doing something else. Okay, good. Now it's nine oh nineteen. Les voy a dar cinco minutos para practicar la conversación y tres minutos para practicar para terminar las preguntas. Okay, so volvemos. Let me see. 9.27, vamos a volver acá. Give me one second, I'm gonna create a group. Uh, this is a listening. All right, I'm gonna send this one. Okay, open up your breakout rooms and let's go to work. Let's enter to the breakout rooms, people. I'm going to make some changes in here because these people are not joining. Okay. Okay, ahorita. Ah, uh, suave, le oigo, Isabel. Okay, ¿y ahora? Un poquito más fuerte. Ah, ah la, 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 la. Hable, hable. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. Sí, a ustedes le oigo, pero suavecito. Abre, suave. Mm, Serán sus audífonos, Cristina, porque yo le escucho perfecto a Gabriel. Y creo que sí, Gabriel a mí. Me los quité porque, me los quité sí, porque sí. están fallando el micrófono, Ah, ah. La el altavoz lo tiene malo. Exacto. Me acaban de prestar unos ahorita. Mejor con estos. A ver. Hola. Hola. ¿Me oye? Sí, sí, hoy sí. Hoy sí le voy a sequísimo. Sí. Ah, perfecto. Vaya. Practicamos entonces. ¿Usted lo tiene escrito, esta U, o lo tiene? Please. Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of, of, the, of it is for. Uh -huh. Hoy hacemos el cambio. 
está bien Berta, bueno, se puede decir como linda. Thanks, thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Mario. Could, could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course. I has a capacity of 5.2 to fit a turbo processor and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for... Okay. Ya, quiero ver. Si quieres, sigamos con las preguntas. Porque ya son las 9.25 y ya que las 9.27. Ok. Eh, la 1 dice: What does Juan want to buy? Uh -huh. eh, quiere comprar una lavadora. Ajá. Sería. He sería he wants he wants no he wants to buy he wants warranty ta 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 These are the customer and the ads are politic of in politics. Mm -hmm. Que si el, el del servicio, la gente del servicio al cliente es educado o no? ¿Y por qué? Ajá. Sí. Rubasha. He wants or he wants to buy? He wants to buy. Sí, he wants to buy. Así es, teacher. Mm -hmm. Él quiere comprar un mm -hmm. procesador, ¿verdad? ¿Un okay. qué? Una, una lavadora. Washing. Ponemos pro, pro, pro washer. Pro washer. Pro washer. Pro washer. Sí. Pro washer. No ponemos los detalles de la lavadora. No, no. simplemente dice que quiere comprar. A washing machine, a pro washer, como le quieran poner. Ajá. Ya, ya la información que Linda le da eso ya va después. No, te... Eso es para términos de que él sepa lo que está comprando o lo que va a comprar. Ok. Entonces... La primera que sería. Entonces, Juan wants to buy a washing machine, ¿verdad? Una exactly. exactly. Sí. ¿Qué pregunta? Can you, ¿Qué dirías en lugar de repetir? <ríe> eh. Así es, to buy. O es al revés. Sí, así va. Con ese, once. Once. Third person, okay. remember. Es tercera persona, ¿verdad? Correct. To buy. To buy. Calling in the. Provide Sí. Luego. ¿Qué podríamos decir? Ah, todavía. ¿Qué podríamos decir en lugar de repetir? Tal vez preguntarle alguna característica que busca del. 
Y no. No. Can you? Dice, could you repeat, please? Could you tell me, please? No. What question can you say instead of repeat? ¿Cómo dice la pregunta que, 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 que hace la chamaca esta? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Entonces ahí podemos decir, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that, please? Y ahora ya la tenemos de otra manera. You got it? Pero se... No, no lo entendí, Ticha. Ajá, está confuso. Ajá. Porque que, lo que dice es que, que digamos... Espérame, me voy a estar... decir de diferente manera, repeat. La palabra, la palabra en sí, repeat, no va a cambiar. Simplemente dice que podría escribir otra forma de... ¿Cómo preguntar? De pedirle ah, que repita. Exacto. Como más amable. Exacto. Entonces. Can you repeat? Exacto. Puede ser, could you repeat? Could you es la que tiene. Ajá, entonces vamos a poner, can you repeat? Correcto. Aquí okay, yo. That is correct. All right, let's continue, okay? Okay. Ya lo llamaron. ¿Cómo van? Eh, la última pregunta estamos ya, Tisha. Ah, okay, perfect. Why? Because uh, they are they are respectful and teacher. Amable in English is kind. Kind. Huh? Kind. Kind. Yes, kind. Because they are kind and respectful. Mm. Puede ser, puede ser. Otro también es porque están usando preguntas con can y could formales. Precisamente eso iba a referir. Yeah, they are using. using words like can or could. Can you say again? En la dos pueden poner inclusive la misma pregunta, solo que en vez de Q, poner Ken. Y ya es diferente. Ah, oh, ok. I call use. Could you, could you, can you repeat that again? Yeah, can, uh-huh. 
good, good. Ya cayó la ley, ya cayó la ley. Because you answer <laughs> kindly. Ah, can you yeah. give me information about the warranty? Ah. Ah. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> ya me preocupa que, cuando dice eso. <laughs> dice que pregunta. Ajá, como repetir algo así. O ¿Qué repite. Pregunta podría decir en vez de repetir. No, en ese caso, en ese caso, listen. En ese caso, si ven la pregunta, dice, Could you repeat that, please? ¿De qué otra manera puedo decir esa pregunta? ¿De qué otra manera? Uh -huh. ¿Con quién no? Oh, wow. Ahí está, ahí está, sencillo. Can you repeat that, please? Ajá. Y ya lo tiene de otra manera. Mm. Yo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Ya, me, ya me quedé silbando en la loma. Guay. <risa> Porque como sería de cambiarlo. Can you give me information about the warranty? Mm. Ah, uh, leave it like that. Leave it like that. It's the same thing. All right. Good. Okay. Let's go to the main section because I, I want to listen to you guys practicing that. And then we're going to come back with the next page. Okay. Okay. Good. See you there. Jesus Christ, y todavía veo el audio de Mónica cargando. My God. All right, so I got this one. And I want to listen to ah, the first part. Cristina, who are you working on? Linda, ¿con quién estuvo practicando? Con Gabriel Esaú. Ok, cool. Ya, yeah. you're gonna be Linda and Gabriel is gonna be Juan. Let's go. Ok. Ok. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Pro washer? Washer. Of course, it has a capacity of 5.2. You fix uh, a turbo processor and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Will you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for. Okay, very good. Thank you, Gabriel and Cristina. You did it excellent. Let me see who else is missing on the list here. I'm going to make this kind of big for you to see. Give me one second, people. Cool. Roberto. Let's go, mister, with the person you were working on. With Marilyn. All right, let's go. Marilyn, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Comienza, pues. Okay. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? 
Of course, it has a capacity of pi to point and go fit a turbo processor and an Italian keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you, Roberto and Marilyn. Now, let me see who's next. Guadalupe. Sí. Who were you working with? Con Carlita, creo que era. Sí. <laughs> Carlita, Carlita. Carlota y esta grandota, dice. <laughs> okay, good. Let's start. No sé quién va a comenzar ahí. Let's do okay. it. Comienzo, Guadalupe. Okay. Okay. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has capacity of the 5.2, kill fit, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the guarantee? I'm sorry, could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the guarantee? All right. Thanks. The warranty of it is for. Ah, okay, thank you. Thank you, ladies. You did it excellent. Let me see now. Judith, who were you working with? With Jorge and Oscar. Jorge and Oscar, okay. First practice with Jorge, then Jorge practice with Oscar, and then Oscar finishes with you, okay? Let's go. Okay. Hello, hola, teacher. Hi, mister. Okay. okay. Judith is going to practice with Jorge right now. When they finish, Jorge will practice with you, Oscar. And then when uh, you both finish, you, Oscar, will practice with Judith, okay? Like a circle. Mm -hmm. Cool. Judith, okay. let's start. Yes. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 Q fit a turbo processor and a, an intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The guarantee of it is for. Ah, okay, perfect. Now, Jorge, practice with Oscar. Thank you so much for the calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro -washer? Of course. It's a capacity of 5.2. Confit a turbo processor and an intelligent cable. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat the please? Uh, can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of this is for. Ah, okay. Perfect. Now, Oscar, finish it with Judith. Okay. Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course. It is has a capacity of 5.2 Q point feet, a turbo processor, and an intelligent cable. I see. 
Can you give me information about the guarantee? I am sorry. Could you repeat that, that please? Can you give me information about the guarantee? Thanks. The warranty of it is for. It is for. All right. Perfect, people. Thank you for your participation. And I think, let me see. This is the last participation with you guys. Okay. Cool. There you go. Ah, look at that. Ruth is waking up. Hi, Ruth. Yeah. And Ruth is like, ah, oh, man. Oh. Like, oh. <laughs> ¿Qué hora son? Dice. ¿Qué, ¿Qué hora son? ¿Qué hora, ¿Qué hora son? Dice Ruth. <laughs> I know, Ruth, you were working. Are you finishing? Yes. Me, me llega ese espíritu allá navideño allá al otro lado. Mario tenía un fondo de esos. Mario, ¿qué se hizo? Where is it? Yes, <laughs> I'm here. Ah, you see, man, you see the background. Menos mal, yo no puedo poner un background de esos porque, ya, yeah, tengo que tener este. But I, I will put, man, a Christmas, un burrito por acá. You know, like, things like that, man. To celebrate. Ya voy a ir al dólar a gastar. El aguinaldo. El aguinaldo, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> On buying unnecessary things. All right, now I'm but yeah, for Christmas. Ah, uh, pregunta. Yes. Uh, that is Thanksgiving. It's free time. <laughs> no, mister. No, yes. mister. I wish it could be a free time, man, but no. Si hablamos inglés, tenemos que tener libre. Thanksgiving. I wish it could be, man, a Thanksgiving. Oh. Uh, sorry, man. Sorry, mm. oh. I was, I was, I was uh, expecting the same, but nah, it is not applying for us. <laughs> okay, people, what does Juan want to buy? Any volunteer, algún voluntario? What does Juan want to buy? Bro, what, Chantich? Juan what by the pro washer. Ah, ok. Juan o he o lo como le quieran poner ahí en ese aspecto. Vamos a ponerle Juan. Juan mm -hmm. wants to buy a pro washer. Like this, ok. Good, like that. Mm -hmm. All right. What question can you say instead of repeat? What do you have in here? Porque ahí decía, could you repeat that, eh, eh, please? Creo que decía. Could you do it? Let me see. Could you, ah, decía, tell me? could you repeat that, please? Decía, could you repeat that, please? ¿Cómo nosotros lo vamos a poner ahí? Could you Can tell you? me? Va, miren. Si ahí decía, could you repeat that, please? Acá era, can you repeat that, please? Y ya teníamos la pregunta. Different. Right? With different category. With different word. That was it. Cool. And we got the last one. Are the customer and the agent polite or impolite? What do you think, guys? He's polite. They were polite. Ellos fueron educados. Because, ¿por qué? Because they use uh, the word can and could. Correct. They were polite because they used words like can and cool. Ah, ellos fueron educados porque usaron palabras como can y could. All right. That's what you got over there. Perfect, people. If you have it like that, this is the way. Good, good. So let's move on. Vamos a hacer la última parte. Ese es más sencillo. I'm going to stop in here, this thing. And let's go down. Let's go down in here. 
Va, miren. Vamos a terminar con estas cuatro preguntitas. Dice, complete the questions with Ken and Ku, then ask a partner and write an answer. Va, miren, aquí las preguntas van a ser opcionales. Las van a hacer como pareja y las van a responder como pareja. Ok. Por ejemplo, acá pueden decir ustedes. Uh, let me see. Can you give me $100? Por ejemplo. Y ustedes me dicen a mí. Yes, teacher. We can give you one hundred dollars. All right. Because we are good students, he says. Okay. And you got that a question, okay? Y ya tenemos un ejemplo de pregunta y respuesta. Okay, this is the way how I want you to create the questions. Good. Any question? No? Perfect. I'm going to stop sharing this thing over here. And I'm going to stop sharing the presentation. And I'm going to send you to work, people. Bueno, váyanse a trabajar. Oops. Ruth is missing. Give me one second, Ruth. Ya veo dónde la pongo. No se me vaya a unir ahí porque ahí no hay nadie. Give me one second. Give me one second. I need to see where you are. One. Okay. Now you can accept. Lo que pueden hacer es agarrar una cada uno, una Cristina, una Gabriel, una Ruth, y luego ah, solo okay. hacen las respuestas ya en, en como grupo. Están lo complicando tanto. Exactly, exactly. Me parece excelente. Gracias. Yes, yes, Quiero yes. explicar por qué me perdí casi toda la clase. <laughs> ok, cool. Estuvimos hablando de Ken and Cool, dos estructuras que ya previamente hemos visto, inclusive. Ken es más que todo acá para hacer preguntas de manera un tanto formal o hacer solicitudes un tanto formal. Pero si lo comparamos con could, Q suele ser más formal que Ken. Esa es la diferencia entre los dos. También, basado en ello, podemos decir que could es el pasado de Ken. Si yo digo, I can play the piano, yo puedo tocar el piano, eso es una habilidad en el presente. Si yo digo, I could play the piano, yo ahí estoy hablando de una habilidad en pasado, de algo que yo podía. All right? Entonces ahí es básicamente, ah, I mean, yo podía tocar el piano, algo que ya no hago ahora. All right? Entonces, that's, that's part of it. All right? Nice. Ok, Where is Mario? Jesus Christ. Mario, why are you alone, man? Who were you working with? Una vez más. Solo, solín, solito. ¿Con quién está usted? Con María Elena. María Elena. Sí, pero María Elena, a ver qué pasó. Sí, le me sí. Bueno, lo voy a unir a otro mejor. Number, number five. De hecho, de hecho, no participamos en la conversación con ella. Es que no, no sé, sé qué se me hizo, ¿verdad? Es que creo que se desconectó. Four. I'm going to send you to number four, man. Give me one second. Okay. Vámonos por ahí.
Hello, people. Hello. Hello, teacher. Ah, les traigo un nuevo integrante por acá para que me les ayude, ¿ok? Ok. There you go. Hola. Teacher, Hola. la respuesta de este son, son yes, yes or no question. Well, using could. Uh -huh. Now, remember que no, 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 no podemos decir yes, I could or no, I couldn't. Recuerda es como, ah, right away, in a moment, in a minute, of course. Puedes decir, of course, my, my phone number is. Exactly, of course, my phone number is, and blah, 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 blah. Ah, ok, le damos respuesta, así la. That's correct, uh -huh. you can do it. Ok. Perfect. Jesus Christ, you should just got one question. Solo han hecho una y ni ni la han terminado. Tenemos duda. Ni les creo, people. ¿Cuál es la duda? No, no, no. Solo que el, el uno, eh, pues sí podría ser cualquier tipo de pregunta. Por ejemplo. Eh, este, podría decirme dónde trabajas eso puede ser una, una can you tell me where you work yes ¿Para que sí? uh -huh. Sí. can you tell me where, where you work exactly la otra puede poner could you Ah, imagínense, Jorge, que usted está en una fiesta y usted ve a lo lejos a Judith, ahí Judith toda triste, queriendo bailar, pero no, no puede porque no, nadie la saca a bailar. Mm -hmm. Y usted llega y le dice, hey, desconocida, could you dance with me? Could, could you dance with me? Mm -hmm. And Judith ahí tímidamente le diga, no. <risa> <laughs> All right, things like that, things like that, huh? Te diría, excuse me? Excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right? Good. Ah, uh, questions like that. All right, no, no nos compliquemos tanto. Uh -huh. Okay. Nice, nice. Where'd you go? Solo con I. Sin la Pero no de... tú ahí también. ¿Ah? No, Valdú, could you do for pray? What? Y, y ese pecado, no. Roberto. Y ese no, pecado no. que me quiere hacer ahí, Roberto, ni le creo. Ver, <risa> ni le creo, Roberto. Ay, mala hora pregunté. ¿Cómo se le ocurre que va a llevar doble auxiliar, Roberto? Si could <risa> es el auxiliar ya. Could you prepare the dinner? Y Maren le va a decir, no. Prepare sí, los tedios. <ríe> ¿Verdad? Que cocine. <ríe> Marilyn. Cuando le dicen usted así, Marilyn, usted solo dice, yes. Yo, yes, of course. <ríe> Otro nivel, Marilyn. Yeah, es que es que soy chef, por eso no digo no. Dele. Ah. Yeah. yeah, and I, I have a degree in, uh, mm -hmm. in... No, ¿Quiere que, ah, ¿quiere sí. que le muestre que es cierto? Yes, man. Ah, yes. vaya, se lo voy a mostrar para que vea que es cierto. Mm -hmm. Where? Y con honores para que vean. Mm -hmm. Academia Panamericana del Arte Culinario, APAC. A mucha honra. Mm. Mm. A mm. mucha honra. ¿Cuándo se graduó? Me gradué en el 2016. ¿Sabe que mi creen? esposa se graduó un año después? <ríe> en el 2017. Yes, man. Bye. Créame, Ay, estoy... pues sí. 
<risa> Bárbaro, cocina delicioso, entonces. Obvio, obvio, obvio. Obvio, obvio. <risa> no, me das cool. Das cool, me das cool. Yes. Sí, mi esposa, eh, cuando, ah, cuando no nos conocíamos, estudió, Ajá. estudió ahí en el 2010, bueno, entró en el 2017, sí. No, se graduó en el 2017, no sé cómo fue la cosa ahí. Pero sí tiene su título y todo ahí, igual con eso. De verdad, y también cocinero profesional. Yes, yes. ¿Por qué, por qué cree que estoy así, pues? Sí, yo sé. Como usted dice, nunca dice no a cocinar. No, nunca decimos no, siempre tenemos que decir sí. Ella, No, es que eso es, el otro es día, ventaja y desventaja. exactly, fíjense que porque ella no está acá, ella... Hace un par de meses se fue para Estados Unidos. Ella ya está. Entonces, antes de irse, igual ella me enseñó algunas cosas y estuvimos haciendo una vez un tres leches. Okay. Y me dice, Okay. vaya, aquí está la receta, mire, aquí está todos los pasos a seguir, bla, bla, bla. Lo iba haciendo yo así como, qué sencillo, man, con, con un cucharón yo dándole. Entonces, super easy. Ahora, pregúnteme cómo hacer un tres leches y no me acuerdo. En <ríe> was like, Ajá. Ay, qué no, pena, me no, dice, no se acuerda, me. Y no, no me acuerdo. no se acuerda. No. Y yo esas son de las recetas que tengo de memoria para hacer, porque Dele. son de como cuando son cosas que uno hace muy seguido, entonces la receta es como que ya uno ya no tiene que estar bien. Ajá, you got it by hand. Exacto. Exactly. Uh -huh. No, ella lo que siempre odió, dice, es la, el, el módulo de panadería. Y yo es lo que más amé. Dice que no, 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 ella no, dice no, con los panes no. Es que eso, es que yo creo que de toda la rama de la cocina todo es bonito, ¿verdad? Pero creo que donde es la rama de la pastelería y, o sea, todo lo que es pan es mucho más meticuloso a la hora sí. ya de hacer. Porque con unos gramos que usted no le ponga de una cosa, ya no le sale igual. Exacto, exacto. Así que. Nice, man, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. Could you prepare the dinner? Yes, of course. All right, perfect, perfect. Bien, reviso nada más un grupo más y nos vamos, ¿ok? Ok. Hey, good, good. Ah, they are one. Ya se fueron. All right, let's go. Ay, las fui a buscar y ya se habían ido. Ay, qué valor, qué valor, tipo, qué valor. But anyways, that's cool, that's cool. ¿Ah? ¿Qué fue eso? La Mari López. ¿Qué es eso? <ríe> ok, good, good. Listen. Van a ir leyendo uno y uno. Uh, Cristina, you were working with Ruth. ¿Y quién más? Guadalupe, right? No. No, yo, Gabriel. Ah, no, you were with... Uh, Guadalupe was with, Gab with... With another. It was Gabriel, Cristina, and Ruth, right? Ok. Yes. Perfect. Yes, Gabriel. Chris, eh, eh, yeah, vamos a comenzar con Gabriel. Gabriel, lea una pregunta, lea la respuesta, luego Cristina y luego Ruth, ok? Three. Okay. And then okay. you finish with the next one. Okay. Could you me answer my question? This is a repeat again, please. Could you me answer my question? Could you answer my question? Eliminemos el me. Ah, okay. Could you answer my question? Yes. Okay. Yes, I could answer your question. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Cristina. Okay. Next question. Uh, okay. Uh, they can go to the bank. They can go to the bank. Give me one second. Pueden ir al banco. Pero creo que está mal escrito, vean. Eh, Pueden ir al banco. La... Eh, es que esa sería la pregunta dos, Cristina. Mm, la tres. Léala. Pero es, que inicia, pero es que iniciaría, Cristina, con el can you, el inicio de la pregunta que tenemos ahí. 
Mm, algo está mal entonces. ¿Cómo ah, estaría entonces? Acá, mire, como esto, ¿eh? Mm. Acá está el inicio de la, de la pregunta, Cristina, mire. Can you? Can you? Y luego acá usted nada más le iba a poner algo más. Mm -hmm. Can you? Y luego un verbo. Mm. Por decir algo. Por Dejante. ejemplo, por ejemplo, usted puede decir, can you buy pupusas for me? Mm -hmm. Can you go to the bank? Go to the bank. Exactly. Yes. yes. Okay. Nice, nice. Y la nice. respuesta, teacher. Yes, yes, we, yes we I can. can. No, yes, yes, I can. Yes, I can. Good, okay. good, good. Ruth? I Read the next one. Uh, uh, call, call you cook for dinner? Ah, okay, good. Uh, yes, I call cook for dinner. Uh, Mm, ya, yeah. podríamos ponerla así, aunque un yes, of course, sería bueno. Yes, of course. All right. Okay. Good, good. Thank you to you three people. Mario, read one, please. Oh, permítame. La voy a buscar que no las había hecho yo. <laughs> No le pasaron la copia a la Carla. ¿Y quién más era? Ay, ah, Guadalupe. Guadalupe. Eh, la primera. Number one. Can you buy pizza on Saturday? Ah. The answer, yes, I can. Ok, good, good. Guadalupe, what about number two? Ah, ahorita, teacher, espérenme que se me apagó la compa esa. Yes, I can. No, la respuesta, no, no, number two, number two. Bring number ah, okay. two. Could you hit me your number, your number phone or phone number? Phone number? Oh. Right let me, away. Let me, let My... me think about it. <laughs> ah, right <laughs> away. Okay. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Right away. Thank you, Guadalupe. Now, let me see who's Carla. Where is Carla? Okay, teacher. Ah, she's there. Okay. Okay. Ya casi. <laughs> okay, right. Let's go. Okay. Can you lend me your computer? No, I cannot. I can't. I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. Así de simple. No se presta. <laughs> ya me parece broma, pero es cierto. Sí. Y luego le dicen, pero es que yo te la entregué bien, vos quizás vos la fregaste. ¿no? Cava. <laughs> y la votaron. <laughs> exactly, man, exactly. Good. Mario, finish it. Number four. Yes, Mr. Could you complete the report? In a moment, I complete. I complete. Very good, Mario. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, who's next? Roberto. One. Okay. Can you play soccer with me? Mm -hmm. No, I can't play soccer with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Sutil. <laughs> Good. Marilyn, number two. <laughs> Marilyn. Aquí estoy. No me griten. <laughs> <laughs> Yo dije, no, ya Marilyn está. No, no, no estoy dormida. No estoy dormida. Todavía estoy despierta. No porque siempre dicen que me duermo. No sé. ¿Qué será? ¿Por qué será? Si nunca me he dormido en la clase, de andar inventando. <risa> Bye, la número dos. Could you do a reservation in this restaurant? Ajá. The answer is yes, of course. Yeah. Ok, very good. Good. Roberto, number three. Can you pay me the Uber? The Uber. What? Uber. That's in English. Ah, Uber. 
Yes, I can pay the Uber. 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 <laughs> Uber. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Marilyn, number four. Sí, solo tres hicimos. Ah, really? Sí. Solo esas tres hicimos. Ni le creo. Cuatro eran. Yes. No, la ah, otra sí, era. Sí, la pero, otra era. Sí, es cierto. Tienes razón, no es cierto. Ah, era como ah. yo, pero... Usted se, me, usted se metió y te rompió todo a hablar de cocina, ¿de acuerdo? Yo no tengo culpa. ¿Quién era la, pre, la que preguntaba de la cocina? You see? Ya ve, Roberto, yeah. ¿cómo son? Ya ve, Roberto, ¿cómo son? Decime. Va, bien feo. ¿Quién, quién es? Me yo... encendió la cámara, me enseñó su título. Mire, yo puedo hacer, yo puedo freír huevos. Yo, para yo, la yo, yo fui. <laughs> you see, Mira, uh, yo prefer the dinner. Ajá, uh -huh, you see. Y yo dije, yes, of course. La más importante Obviously. estaba olvidando. Ni le creo. <laughs> All right, okay, good. <laughs> okay, perfect. Thank you to you and to Roberto. And now we're gonna let, we're gonna see the last trio. Jorge, read one. Can you tell me where is your girl? Uh -huh. good, good. Word, yes, I can. Okay, good, good. Thank you. Let me see who else, who else, who else, who else. Judith. Will you buy the cake for the birthday? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Now, okay, good. Se les fue el otro, verdad? Oscar. Yes, it is not here. <laughs> okay, Jorge, let's, let's do number three. Number three, can, can you help me with this? Uh -huh, okay. Yes, I can. All right, good. And the last one, Judith? Will you dance with me? Yes. Cool dance with you. I could dance with you. Ah, you quickly I said no. <laughs> All right. Very good, people. Now, people, so we're going to stay up to here. Remember, the two structures that we were practicing right now, it was the uses of can and cool. Can is for the base form and abilities. All right, and could is for past abilities, okay? And basically, recuerden, can es la forma base, cool es el pasado de can. Can es para habilidades, cool es para habilidades, pero en pasado, all right? Y ambos pueden ser usados para solicitar, okay? O hacer solicitudes, en este caso, de manera formal. Pero si tenemos que elegir cuál es más formal, recuerden, Cool is más formal que can. All right. That's what you got to remember. Good, people. So I'm going to pass the attendance list before we go, okay? Gabriel Esaú. Present. Nice. Guadalupe Noemi. Present. Nice. Iris Cecilia. Chisik. Jorge Ismael. Present. All right. Perfect. Jose Moises is not here. Judith Maribel. Present. Okay. Carla Ivania. She is not there, but is Carla Lorena. Present. All right. Carla, we got the 10 minutes feedback today porque Carla se nos fue, okay? Okay, teacher. Nice. Catherine Guadalupe. Nacho is not here. Kevin Ramiro is not here. Maria Elena. She left, I think. Yes, she left. Uh, Marilyn Alejandra. Present. Okay, good. Mario Ernesto. Present. Excellent. Monica Maricela. Nunca se conectó. Oscar Armando. Ya se fue. Patricia Guadalupe. She got, didn't connect. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. All right, good. Ruth Guadalupe. 
Present teacher. Nice, Santos Cristina. Present teacher. All right, and we got the last one, Jocelyn Stephanie, which was busy. All right, people, eh, espero tengan un bonito teacher, fin de teacher, semana. Teacher. Ajá, Cristina. Antes de que termine, este, las tareas, eh, ¿cómo sería? Como lunes y martes no venimos a clase. Uh, pues Así la está. tarea sería, eh, para este fin de semana, complétenme hasta donde puedan. Si hasta las 9, 10, ustedes pueden, Delen, recuerden que la plataforma está para que ustedes practiquen. Ok. Pero sí, pues ya de las seis en adelante ya pueden hacerla, ok. Ah, teacher, muchas gracias. Perfect, perfect. Okay. If you got time, do it. Espero que tengan un buen fin okay. de semana, people, y nos vemos el lunes, ok. Ok. Bye, bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 También. Bye, bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night, mister. I'm gonna stay with the complaining Carla. O sea, Carla. Hola, teacher. Puedo ver su carita de desvelo, Carla. Sí, teacher. Recuerdo, <ríe> recuerdo que andaba eso, es, esas, esas así como que. Uh, ojeras, Las ojeras. Ya, uh. yeah, sí. pero. You're gonna have one month. Solo un mes va a tener, ¿verdad? Right? Un mes. Mm. Yeah, eso oh, es sí. Complicadito en esos colegios, así. Sí, el colegio es bien exigente. Trabajamos con cuatro plataformas. Jesus Christ. Sí, le ha tocado bien complicado. Igual yo estuve un tiempo en un colegio así que acá en Oriente. Pero uh -huh. igual, sí, la presión era bárbara, así que... No, sí. Hay que estar más calmado. Sí, espero, espero que me dejen un grado fácil, porque entre más pequeños son los niños, es más bonito, pero es más complicado. Exactly, more complex. Yes. More complex, but anyways, all right. This this a couple of minutes, Carla. As you know, is just for you to clarify any question, any doubt that you can have with this class and previous classes, okay? Or something that you might ask about the platform. So I don't know if you have any question. No, teacher. Everything no. has been okay. Sí, no he estado, eh, bueno, ayer no estuve al inicio de la clase porque sí salimos noche del colegio, pero creo que tengo más o menos claro lo de todos, this, this, and that. Ah, ok, very good. Creo que sí. <risa> Yo tengo. Solo, solo confirmar, ¿verdad? Que el dos es cuando, eh, para señalar algo que está lejos, pero en plural. ¿verdad? Es correcto. El this, singular y cerca. Uh -huh. Y el this, this, ¿cómo es la diferencia de la pronunciación de this en this? Casi eh, viene sonando lo mismo, solo que en singular es más como corto, this. Y la otra this. ya es un poquito más largo, this. This. Uh -huh. Ajá, this es para plural cerca también. Uh -huh. Y da singular lejos. Es correcto. Ah, ah, pues. Estamos bien, entonces. Sí. We're okay with that. All right, very good. You're keeping, yeah, I mean, and let me see how much time are we missing. Three more weeks, Carla. Tres semanas más y estamos fuera. Ya casi. <laughs> ya creo que fuera voy a, de la escuela. Contar día ¿sí? por día. <laughs> cabal, cabal. Es que, es que el fin de año es mucho más pesado que durante todo el año. Ay, sí, es una colecta de todas Perdón. las cosas. Sí, Ay. de todo. Sí, gracias a Dios ya terminé con mi grupo, pero ya ahora solo es acto de presencia el que hicimos en la noche, pero así nos quedamos. Nos falta uh -huh. la otra semana, dos graduaciones más. Bueno. Ah, <ríe> sí. pues sí, todavía hay trabajo que hacer. Todavía hay un montón, pero sí. Sí, sí, pero poco a poco, poco a poco se va a ir saliendo. Sí, ya vamos a terminar. <ríe> exacto, exacto. Bueno, entonces... No le quito más su tiempo y la dejo descansar porque sí lo necesita. Ok. <laughs> you really need it, ok? Good, good. So, see you on Monday, ok? Ok. All right. Good night. Good night.